Your diet mindset is keeping you stuck. It's keeping you spinning your wheels. It's keeping you gaining and losing weight. Kathy here with Weight Loss God's Way. And today I want to talk to you about a diet mentality that you probably have. I know I had it from my teens that continually causes me to stay in a cycle of gaining, losing, feeling good about myself, feeling terrible about myself. It's this diet mindset that keeps most women stuck. It goes something like this. Oh, I'm eating good foods. Oh, I'm eating bad foods. Oh, I ate too much. Oh, I didn't eat enough. These foods I cannot have. And we end up judging other people. Look at what they're eating. I should not be eating this. I need to eat better foods. All of that mindset, all of that language that you probably notice that you say to yourself is part of the diet mindset that keeps you stuck. And it keeps us stuck in so many ways. One, we restrict a bunch of foods that our body actually needs because we label them as bad foods. Listen, there are no bad foods. Food is food. Some of them will heal our body. Some of them will harm our body. When we switch the mindset from foods that heal and foods that harm, instead of good, bad, I should, I shouldn't, that'll start changing your mindset. That will help you understand that you want to eat more foods that heal your body. So a quick shift in how you think about foods. When you have the diet mindset also, it produces a lot of guilt and shame. Every time you say to yourself, I should not eat this, I need to eat better, those foods are bad, your brain automatically goes into the state of, there's something wrong with you. Your brain remembers the past times when you ate those foods or you said you weren't gonna eat certain foods when you said you were going to go on a diet and your brain remembers the results. It's like <laughs> your brain stores all of the pain of the how terrible you felt, how terrible you treated other people when you were on a diet, how deprived you felt, how uh, the, the feelings of anxiety that came up, like all of that stuff, as soon as you say you're going on a diet, your brain remembers that and it responds accordingly. It starts reminding you and telling you, uh-uh, been there, done that, got the t-shirt, it didn't work. So what makes you think it's gonna work again? And so I know this is not easy, but it is absolutely essential to be healthier is to let go of the diet mentality. Start by just noticing. How are you judging food? How do you feel about food? What is your relationship with food like? Are there certain foods that are absolutely off bounds? Do you feel anxiety about going to social events, gatherings because of the food? Are you thinking about food all day long? Thinking about what you should eat, what you shouldn't eat? After you eat, are you thinking about what you should eat next? All those, again, not to judge yourself, but all those are indicators, signs about your relationship with food and could be indicators and signs that you have a diet mindset. So right now, I don't want you to try to fix it, change it, just pay attention. We say awareness is the key to all breakthrough. So just start being aware. Notice, do I have a mindset that supports health or is my mindset one of losing weight? That's always gonna be a recipe for disaster, my friend. So your homework, I challenge you, pay attention. And just maybe type in the chat, let me know. Do you have a diet mindset or do you have a health conscious mindset? No judgment, just pay attention. And if you notice, if you resonate with any of those things that I shared, then just go ahead and maybe type in the chat some of the mindsets that you have. 
And then slowly over time, you're going to ask God to start changing that from one of diet to one of health. Amen. I pray that blesses you and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.